Wendy, um, can you tell us and describe the rationale of the center? Do you agree? Why or why not? I certainly have to disagree with the rationale of the center since the book describes the kinds of living conditions that people have to go through back in the South in the 1830s and the 1840s. And this, this third use of language that Clemens uses in a novel, Clemens is the author. Um, allows the reader to be able to gain a greater perspective of the lives of the characters instead of actually, since books presently um, have to avoid such language, but using the such language is actually something that was used before. And the, it describes the overall thinking of throughout the book within the environment and the community around them, such as the things that Clemens saw when he was writing the book during the history of it. And the novel shows the types of stereotypes seen during the time that it was being made. And though there may be such a use of hurtful language um, to some people, it is what it is. And that was simply what was heard during those times. The novel and all banned books um, has to offer the truth. And the truth is meant to be spread knowledge, not otherwise. <laughs> Okay, um, Louis, well, adding on to what Wendy said, um, what do you think were some key words in their language? Well, obviously, <laughs> but I think it's offensive to you. <laughs> That's why I think the book was banned. But, <laughs> is a bad word. So, and we stop. So, Alondra, um, describe some of the main characters. Um, how do they act? Do they change? If so, how? Well, the main character, obviously, is Hooklerry Finn. Uh, he's a 13-year-old boy. Um, he's the son of a drunk man in St. Petersburg, Missouri. Um, he's also friends with Tom Sawyer. Uh, he's really thoughtful, intelligent, and is able to make the conclusions about very important things. In a way, he kind of does change because he learns how to take care of himself in the wild and also how to look for others. And he also becomes more independent. Another uh, character is uh, Huckleberry Finn's father. He seems to be a heartless father. He beats his son when he gets drunk, and he obviously is up to no good. Um, he really seems not to not change at all. Um, Jim is one of Miss Watson's household slaves. He is very intelligent and is friends with Huck and uh, Tom. He also makes through, he also helps, helps Huck and Tom through the voyage. Um, he also seem, seems to not change at all. And uh, the last character is Tom Sawyer. He is a uh, Huck's fan and he is very imaginative and he sometimes tends to take dominance over anything. Um, he is also very stubborn and unaware of how cruel society can be. Alright, Louis. Um, so, what are the major conflicts in this book? Um, are they resolved? Is the how? From what I read, I think some of the major conflicts are child abuse with Huckleberry Finn and his father because Every time his father left, he would lock him in, and he would get drunk, and every time he came back, he got whooped. From also reading the novel, um, it was brought up in the novel that do you think um, religion could be another main conflict? Mm -hmm. Yes, because it is Huckleberry Finn like point of view whether he should choose to follow a religion or not. He if he wants to be atheist, he can be atheist. If he wants to be Catholic, he can be Catholic. People can't make him do what he wants. And if he doesn't think religion is the answer, then he doesn't need to think religion is the answer. So Amen. Alright. Um so some of the major conflicts as you said before were um so, um, how were they resolved throughout the uh, Well, uh, it says in the novel that Hulk pretends to kill himself. <laughs> so, he, while well, he killed himself, he ran away, but he actually didn't kill himself. He just ran away. So, 
problem. He resolved that problem by running away from it.